<laughs> I'm Sven Harms, I'm with Sea Life Cameras, and we're here at DEMA 2016 introducing the new DC2000 camera. The really, really cool thing about the new DC2000 is its large format ability to shoot big, big images and video. We do this with a new Sony 20 megapix one inch sensor that's in this camera. It has the ability to shoot raw uh, in uh, Adobe's DNG format and the results have been astounding. Uh, the other really, really cool feature about the DC2000 is inside this almost bulletproof casing is you've got a very, very user-friendly and high-performance inner camera that's not only compact and great to use out of its housing as a land camera, it's also waterproof. So the inner camera itself is waterproof to 60 feet, 18 meters. And basically as a uh, water sports camera or even as a snorkel camera, you could take it in the water and get some tremendous results without having to do uh, uh, the housing as the exterior. Uh, opening the housing is simple. It's a sim simple one latch design. You simply open it up. Some very simple settings, uh, and after the uh, initial battery charge, which is done through a safety latch system like that and a very, very good gasketed system, uh, after a battery charge, it's all done here through, the, uh, through a USB plug. Uh, memory storage is a micro SD, and uh, uh, you set your set your date and time, put it in the housing, seal the housing, turn the camera on, and you'll notice the large 3 inch 920K display that will not only help in your aiming but also give you very good response as far as reviewing your images while you're in the water to see if you got that prize winning shot or not. So, like all Sea Life cameras, you get to your scene modes via a central controller. There's your land scene modes. And let's get to the underwater scene modes. With your underwater scene modes, you simply make a selection on what you're going to be doing. Um, whether we dive with the, the camera alone or snorkel with the camera alone, the white balance adjustments are going to be made automatically, or whether you're going to be using an external flash or an external light. So let's select external flash, and the camera is basically set and ready to go diving. All we need to do is add the flash. One of the really cool features about the DC2000 system is that it's expandable with our own range of lights. It mates very well to the Sea Dragon flash. Included with the camera is a very well-fitting flash link that can accommodate up to two flashes and mounts very positively onto the housing. Camera also accepts our wide-angle fisheye lens that adds about 80 degrees uh, to the uh, 66 degree angle shooting angle lens. That's about 50 degrees underwater. And the set system that we show here is basically with an LED light and a flash so that the user can 
do both video and still imaging. We also offer a new 2300 lumen auto light. Uh, this particular one is a dual beam light, but our auto light automatically cancels itself when the flash is being used so that you don't get any shadowing or any uh, uh, distortion in the images. Other than that, uh, we have more features than we can talk about in a matter of a few minutes. The, we have uh, uh, a manual aperture with 17 f-stops. We have uh, a shutter priority, so you can adjust the, uh, the shutter speed. Uh, you can do all this underwater, by the way. We have uh, 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 a 3x digital zoom that's very easy to use. Um, you also have a, a number of white balance controls that you can access underwater as well as being able to set a custom white balance uh, and you can do that on the fly and in the water as well. So in terms of wants, needs and desires of 99% of divers out there, I think we've really nailed it with the new DC2000. I'm confident it's going to be one of the most popular underwater camera systems in the world. Thanks.